friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna do a little Ulta haul and we're going to do a little review of KKW, Kim Kardashian West, which now that she's getting divorced, is she gonna go back to K, what is it gonna be called, KK? I don't know, but she better figure it out. But not happy she's getting divorced because that's sad. But here's the deal, I'm gonna start with this. This is her, it comes with two little, um, there, it's a shade and light, basically. It's a highlight, cream contour and highlight, okay? So it's kind of like you see in the picture, it's like this would be your highlight, like that. Um, and then obviously you do like on your chin and down the middle like this, and then you blend it, right? And then you take her dark one. Now, okay, it's two-sided, which I still haven't really figured out. I guess one's darker than the other, but whatever. I'm just gonna do this one. Then this one is the one you take on the sides of your nose like this, right? And then she does like, now she does it where you do two circles like this, okay? And then obviously your, now I already have some of this on, but here you go. So that's what you do. Then you take your brush. So this would be your blender for all down the side of your nose, right? All that, love that. And you gotta blend all here. Then take your lighter blender brush, which is here, and you blend all the light. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It's cream. I personally like, I like to use powder. It's kind of my first time using the cream. It doesn't even blend that great, but okay, whatever. It's not my favorite. And by the way, it's $32. So not my favorite. Moving on. Then she has this eyeshadow palette, Classic Blossom. Personally, I think I kind of got the wrong one. Classic Blossom, okay, right? But here's the deal. It doesn't really have a highlight. This is not light enough and sparkly enough for me for a highlight, which I like to do under my brows. So now I'm like, well, now what am I gonna do? So basically what I did is I took this like burgundy color here, and which is called whatever, baby? I don't even know. This one down here. So I took this and I put it in my crease. And it does have like kind of a, a, I don't know what you call it, burgundy, I guess. Kind of a blossom color. It's called blossom. I don't know what it's called. It's all right. It's not my favorite. But I do like it. It is kind of just different. But look at how it is kind of like a little too red for me. It's like, hi. But it's kind of more of a dramatic. But it's all right. And then I would take this one right here. And I would use that right on the center of my lid. And it does have a good pigment to it. So I do like that. But then when you go to highlight underneath your brows, which I'm just using my finger, but I feel like it's too dark for under the brows. You know what I mean? I would like to see something lighter. So again, not my favorite. I like the colors in it, but it's just not my favorite palette. Maybe, and even I did, I, I tried a little of the darker, like combination of the two darker, like maybe in the V here, like that. Just take a combination of this one here and this one right there, and you could kind of highlight your V for more of a dramatic look. And again, I like it, I just don't love it. By the way, that one's $45. So to me, it's not worth the money. And, but look at this. Bobbi Brown, however, did the same, almost the same colors, right? But see how she did this lighter color here? It's a lot lighter. It goes on a lot lighter, watch. See, I would rather do something like that. It was just like lighter under the brows. So that's my review, don't love it. But who knew Jen Atkin had um, products? So I got the Elf by Jen Atkin and I got her, it's called Zero Effort Liner. Now this is an eyeliner, which I love to wear eyeliner. And I did find this very pigmented. Like, yeah, love that. So if you want a really good eyeliner, I would definitely, Definitely recommend this Jen Atkin by e.l.f. And by the way, it's $5. So if you don't like it, you can chuck it in the trash. So love that. And then finally, what I really, really liked was this CoverGirl Lash Last Clean. So it's clean makeup. And I've been hearing all about this in Allure Magazine. And okay, watch this. Um, yes, please. Look at that. Hello. 
Love that. Okay, so out of all the things I got, this is definitely my favorite, this mascara. So go, if you go to Ulta, and this was only $10.99. CoverGirl, love this. And you can get this, you don't have to go to Ulta. You can get this at the drugstore. So, love that. But while you're at Ulta, don't forget to buy your hair care products. They carry Kenra. Love Kenra. Um, yes, please. So get yourself some Kenra. Get yourself some Chi. This Chi is Silk Infusion. They have this brand. So look for this brand, Kenra and, and Chi. Love this. This is like what you put on before you blow dry your hair. And then, of course, they have good old-fashioned NARS. They have a little section of NARS over there. So I always recommend the Climax. Um, love the Climax. Oh, and I just realized I didn't blend, I didn't blend my KKW. So take it, you blend that, and you put it, and then you drag it down like this. But again, I don't know if I like the cream. I think I'd stick with the powder. So there you go. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to love God and love others. And I'll see you next week. Bye.